Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark and on this how-to video, it's another edition of Tom's Toolbox. And yes, I am Tom Clark, your host. Hey, thanks so much for stopping in. Today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the insert of a mounted ball bearing unit in the field with this unit by Rexnor. Now, before I do, yep, you guess it, you can probably see that I'm already wearing the proper PPE for this. And you wanna make sure that you always wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Best way to remain safe on the job and safety should always be number one top priority. So I've got on my safety goggles, I've got my gloves on, I'm good to go. All right, first things first, what we wanna do is we wanna remove the ball bearing insert. Now we've gotta locate the loading slots on the side of the housing. They're spaced 180 degrees apart. That's how we're gonna slide it out. We've got one over here on this side and we've got one over here on this side. Looks to me like they're 180 degrees apart. Now, with the housing properly secured, you wanna insert the shaft through the bore of the inner ring, all right? Now, we're gonna be using a shaft to remove the bearing, but you can also use a torque bar or pipe to remove the bearing as well, okay? So let's take care of that. There we go. So we've got this and we've rotated it 90 degrees. So the outer ring of the insert is now aligned with these loading slots. You can see how on either side right here, I've got that ring lined up. Now we should now be able to slide the bearing out by hand. Hey, now for the fun part. With the previous insert now removed, you wanna check the housing bore for any debris, dirt, excess grease, moisture, yoda, or anything of that nature. Mmm, help you I will. Ooh, looks like we got rid of a little Yoda. After that, then we take a rag and we wipe off the housing board to make sure that it's squeaky clean. Before we fully load the new bearing insert, we want to ensure that the grooves in the outer ring match up with the housing lube groove. Now this is really super important because if the lubrication grooves don't align with the lube groove in the housing, the bearing's not going to accept the grease during maintenance. You don't want that. Major downtime, damage to the bearing, no good. Not good, don't do that. Hey, on a side note, our bearing's outer shell has grooves, as you can see right here, but some bearings might have holes. Now, it's gonna differ from bearing to bearing. So if your bearing has holes and not grooves, no worries, mate. The process is all the same. So, lined up the grooves with the housing lube group, now we're gonna load the bearing insert through the loading slots. Remember, they're on either side 180 degrees apart. Now, if the new bearing has an anti-rotation pin, this one does not, it must be located in one of the slots for the housing to accept the replacement bearing insert. Now, once it's confirmed, you place a torque bar into the bore of the bearing insert and torque the insert 90 degrees until it's aligned in the housing with a snug fit. Let's do that right now, all right? So we got it into the loading. There they are. Just want to make sure it's lined up. And there we go. We do this to ensure a proper fit and you want proper performance. And be sure to check the service instructions for grease compatibility and intervals for your application. Now this is going to extend the life of your bearing. You add the grease to the bearing through, say with me, the grease zerk. Nicely done. And be sure to look for the grease to purge from the bearing seal. This is going to ensure that the bearing is properly lubricated and the lube groove in the housing and the lube hole of the outer ring properly aligned. That's going to do it. That's this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hey, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, talk to your representative, and they'll be able to help you out. You now know how to replace ball bearing inserts, right? Okay, I thought you did. And as always, yeah, I was wearing my appropriate PPE, glasses, gloves. Make sure you do it as well. Hey, thanks for watching and check out other Tom's Toolbox videos on the Motion Industries YouTube channel. I'm Tom Clark and as your host, hey, thanks for watching. Nice job.